Welcome to the first uh, workshop organized by the World Operator Partnership between the WASA and the Aviation Administration. Um, the workshop for this week will be about SCADA equipment, process automation equipment. It was introduced by my colleague Mr. Ebert van Maan, who is sitting in the back, when he was here. When he was here last month, in May, he discussed with the people of Zone 5, Mr. Isabel, Mr. Fahy, about introducing process automation and SCADA equipment to enable the staff in Zone 5 to optimize, optimize the applications of the water supply network. For that, we made a design with some equipment, which we call PA, Process Automation Equipment. You see an example here lying on the table. <coughs> we contacted the company of DataWatt, represented here by Mr. Johan Roveen and Mr. Robert, uh, to come to DACA to provide the training on this subject, how to deal with this equipment, how to install, how to troubleshoot, how to operate. I'm Johan van der Veen, and I'm from DataWatch from the Netherlands, and uh, we're looking forward to start business here in, in Bangladesh and to provide the WASA with, with uh, a good scale solution with more and more information about uh, your business. So the maintenance of DMA is very vital in future for Dhaka WASA. That's why they have earned this type of training. Okay, what is SCADA? How to maintain this type of uh, DMA? And you will learn through this three days training all these things. And hope you will be the teacher in future because total 88 number of DMA will be completed by ADV. And after this five, they will no more do anything. Your teacher will teach your colleagues in future. And continuously, all the DMAs will come into this data and this kind of system. I hope you will learn that very carefully. And for the better the service of Dhaka also, it will be our achievement if we get it properly. Thank you very much. Experts from, yeah, from Netherlands, they are very much expert in this system and this kind of system is being always implemented in the Europe, in some European countries, but by us it is a new system. So, I took a look at them, I'm not a one of the I'm not a very watch of the game, I'm not a attend for them, I'm not a game for them, I took on for the head for it, I'm not a very good one of the issues for the others. The goal for this uh, pilot is to install data loggers in deep tube wells, layer bar zone, and reservoirs. This is a schematic overview of, uh, of the system. We have to field the data loggers. The data loggers will send data by the mobile network into a data server. The data server can be everywhere. It's not important where it's installed. Uh, then you can log in through the internet on the data server and you will get the presentations on your PC. This is a depiction of a DMA zone. So how, this is how it could look like in the future. Uh, the system can also uh, present some alarms that you can adjust in the SCADA system. We will place some loggers also in the DMA ducts and they can be floated by water, rain water, something like that. And uh, the firm data work has also a watertight solution for that. We have it here present. It's just a PVC pipe. All the electronics that are here inside will put in this tube. It can float in the water, you can put the mud on it, and it still works. Uh, in the training, we told you that there's a pump. I don't know if everybody knows where the pump is here. But it's and that hole ab above uh, about uh, 85 meters deep in the ground. Near that pump we will uh, install a pressure transmitter that will measure the groundwater level near the pump. The blue thing is the water meter. Yes. The water meter will give every tube a pulse. And the pulse will be read in the tree oh. <coughs> The This little thing here is for pressure me measuring. We will make here a pressure transmitter on it and it will measure the pressure after the pump of the water that will go into the city, into the system. This is uh, for dosi dosing chlor chloride in the system. Yeah. system. And the chlorine cylinder is over there. If the pressure of the chlorine cylinder will be low, say, chlorine empty. 
Lawrence, empty signal will be into Tricom and will be present on SCADA so the people in the office know they have to order a new cylinder. The Tricom will be inside here in a control panel. Here, something here or here, inside the house. No, it's not right now, but we make it in the house. We also will measure the power from the whole system. It's also read into the system, and so we can monitor also the power use of the pump. Yeah. Now it's it's online. Yes. See the LED is burning. So now we have communication with the system. If Mr. Johan will ask me something to change, I can change it here and then through the internet, mobile internet, go to the Netherlands and then to the internet to the classroom. I will change the pressure by this button. This button is not really the pressure, but I will simulate the pressure. Now I'll turn this like this. I increase the pressure and in the classroom they see after 7 8 seconds because the communication needs some time to go to the Netherlands and back then the changes are on the screen. The control panel will have a red alarm that the person over here can see that there is an alarm. We don't know if it's maximum pressure or something else but he will see it and then he can call office I have an alarm they can go on the internet and see what kind of alarm there is. Because there can man be many alarms. It can be power, uh, the motor is off, uh, pressure is low, pressure is high, uh, battery is low. All that kind of alarms will make the red lamp burn in the control panel. Operator will see the red lamp and call office and say, what kind of alarm do we have? Yeah? The second button here is for level. If I turn it like this, the water level will drop down, will drop. And also with the level going down, we make an alarm, because if the level is too low, the pump will burn. There's no water and the pump will burn and go broken. So it's very important that we, we, we measure the water level. Yeah? It takes about seven, eight seconds. And we say it's, it's real time, because it's faster than you had before. You didn't know. And now in seven seconds you get a status changing here in the pump station. And afterwards in all the stations, after six, seven seconds, the system will know there is something changed. And if an alarm occurs, in seven seconds you know there's an alarm. Uh, these buttons are the digital inputs. During your training you configure the digital inputs. The first input will change the pump for running or stop. If I change this button in 7 seconds they will see pump stop. Yeah? It's not a command for, t for turning, the, the, turning the pump on, but it's a, command, it's a status change of the pump. If the pump goes down, a contact will close and it will tell the system pump stop. The second switch is for the valve. Valve open close. If I change it, the valve will change on the screen, on the scale screen, from open to close. The third button will be the contact of the water meter. Every pulse, when I make a pulse, the water meter will increase from about seven to eight. Yeah. If two pulses will be in one minute, it will calculate that two minutes is two pulses. It will be 120 pulses in an hour and it will say 120 cube per hour. It's not a measured value but a calculated value. So calculate the value. So you can also see what the, the, what the flow is of the pump. Real time. If there, the pressure will drop, then it's a signal that there that the probably is a leakage. Because if normally there's two bars, the pressure will go to one bar, there will be a leakage. When we go to the DMA pad, this equipment will be inside in the plastic PVC pipe. You see in the classroom the plastic PVC pipe? Yeah. Yeah. It will be in there and it's watertight and it will be in the pit because it's floating and it's watertight and then it will communicate also with the system inside the pit. 
There we go. Visit the DMA pit. This is a DMA pit. There are two pipelines. Every pipeline there's a water meter, uh, a non-return valve, and a pressure reduced valve. There's one surface water line for the city. Uh, one meter measures the flow that's coming from the surface water into the system, into this area, metered area. The other pipe is if there is enough water in this area, and it, can, it can be delivered to the surface water line. This unit are used are specially developed for data logging sending data. Here you see some locations uh, with the possibility of course, like in the scanner system, to uh, 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 see some status information, turn it red when it's in an alarm, uh, green when it's okay, and then we can zoom in at one location, and then you will see a, a more schematic view of the actual location. You can you can receive the alarms, uh, of course, from the system, but receive it also on your mobile phone, by SMS or by email, or both. In terms of the next steps to be taken, as said, uh, this is the first uh, pilot area, 501 and 502. We will implement the system over the coming three months, and we have uh, discussed with the WASA in September. It should be up and running. So it was hard, and this game is pretty dear participant. Thank you very much for attending this course. It is a very important course for the WASA. Actually, it was our dream. We were always speaking that we will go for Mitskana. But today is the day that actually it is a good day that actually we are in the in Skana system. Uh, I want to ask uh, Mr. Johan to hand off the certificate to. Uh...